Hello everybody, it's Sean from One Stop Internet Shop here and what I'm going to be doing in this video is just showing you a couple of the features, the new features in uh, Facebook's new timeline layout and uh, those features are the pin to top and the highlight. So um, this here, um, if you don't already know, this is a new timeline layout, um, depending on when you watch this video, this may not be new, but um, two of the features, pin to top, so let's just scroll down here, say... Um, Okay, say so this video here, say it had an important message in it, and uh, you know we wanted that to be up the top here so that whenever people landed on our page, they saw that video and they could play it. If we um, hover over over any post, you'll get these two icons that pop up here. Highlight, which we'll talk about in a minute, is this little star, and if you click the edit or remove little pencil there, it brings up a little drop-down menu, and the first option there is pin to top. So if you click pin to top, that will it'll refresh and it will basically pin this um, post to the top from wherever it was. So say if it was way down here somewhere, it will then take it and pin it up here. You can see this little bookmark icon, which means that it's been pinned here. Um, it only stays there for seven days. Um, once it once seven days have passed, it will then drop back to where it's uh, where it belongs chronologically in your timeline. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you had a message that you really wanted people to see um, over the next week, you know you could you could. Um, you could make sure that you use the uh, pin to top feature and that would that would hold it up there and um, so the next feature is the highlight feature so let's what can I use here uh, I'll just just for an example I'll use this so this is an image um, if I click on highlight it will then make this image this post the full width of the um, of the timeline layout here so it's highlights is handy really for things like images or videos. I mean, for for a post that is just text, it's probably not really that um, that useful. Um, but here yeah, you can see, you know, people can't miss it as they're, as you're scrolling down the page. Boom! Whoa, there's a big, you know, full width kind of banner there. So that's um that's really awesome. And that will stay. That doesn't um after seven days that won't disappear. So that that stays there. Um, so yeah, you can see that's just two of the two of the new features um, that they've implemented with timeline. And um, yeah, you know, in my opinion, they're really good. You can actually, um, with the new timeline layout, a lot of people are, you know, kind of saying that um, it's, you know, the, the death of the default landing tab, and um, it's, you know, you, you can't uh, conversions will drop, all this sort of rubbish. But in my opinion, the way that they've done it, they've obviously done it for a reason. It actually gives you the opportunity to kind of tell your story more to the customer and direct them around the page. You know, you get this nice big cover image here. You also get these um, tab icons here, which you can you can customize. So you can, you know, you can um, you can have up to I think it's eight tabs you can have along here and down there, and you can actually have images in there. Whereas before you just used to have these little dinky kind of URLs or these little links over here, hyperlinks that you used to have over here. And um, these will just you know these will stand out. You know, you could put you know I don't know um, great offer or you know get your free gift or something like that here, and it could stand out. Um, and that would be one of the first things that a, a you know a reader or a viewer sees when they land here would be these tabs here. So in my opinion, the timeline layout's great. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about the pin to top and the highlight. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.